Well, guys, we're going to be talking about the uh, governor's race over there in Georgia between uh, Brian Kemp and Stacey Abrams. It's over, folks. Stacey Abrams is done. Her goose is cooked. Uh, now, in uh, 2018, she came very, very close to actually uh, winning that uh, governor's race. I believe it was actually by less than a point or something like that. But, folks, the people of Georgia have made it pretty clear. They don't want Stacey Abrams. She's pretty radical. And uh, they had that uh, debate. Uh, I believe it was actually last week. And boy, Stacey Abrams played the race card and she demonized law enforcement. That was definitely the death nail for her. I don't believe she was going to win anyway. But what she actually said about uh, sheriffs over there in that debate, that probably ended her right there. She actually um, went after them and accused sheriffs of trying to uh, lock up black people. She didn't have any endorsements, I believe, from law, law enforcement over there in Georgia. This will probably end up being a landslide victory for Brian Kemp. And by the way, the sheriffs that she actually uh, demonized, they're furious with uh, Stacey Abrams. Here we go, guys. Pro Kemp Georgia sheriffs. Furious at Stacey Abrams for good old boy remarks, vile and disgusting. Yeah, she demonized him. By the way, folks, um, I'm pretty sure that there are some uh, black law enforcement people in Georgia. And she demonized him, too. Even though Stacey Abrams said that she did, she doesn't want to defund the police, that's a lie. She was all for it. But Democrats now are seeing that, um. Calling for defunding the police is not good for uh, politics. And they're trying to backtrack it. But it's too late, man. You already said it. You've been on record. Let's read this, guys. Georgia sheriffs supporting Governor Brian Kemp are angry at Stacey Abrams debate remarks suggesting they're, quote, good old boys who target African-Americans. And think the media's demonization of law enforcement played a role in her comments. Abrams, the Democrat challenging Kemp in the gubernatorial election, retorted to him, touting his uh, sheriff's, sheriff's endorsements on Sunday night by declaring, quote, I'm not a member of the good old boys club. So, no, I don't have 107 sheriffs who want to be able to take black people off the streets who want to be able to go without accountability. Yeah, she's done. She's absolutely done, folks. Demonize, demonizing law enforcement, that's not going to get you anywhere in Georgia. Not when you're trying to win a statewide election. Stacey Abrams does not have the overwhelming support of black men. She's doing worse this time around than she did in 2018. And by the way, folks, there's actually more black people voting in this election. There's more people overall in Georgia actually voting in this election. And she's going to get demolished. She's going to get demolished. She's running on victimization. That's it. She's out there saying that black people are being victimized, even though you have a record number of black people voting. She's still calling it a uh, voter suppression when there's no evidence whatsoever. People are concerned about the economy, gas prices, that kind of thing. They're not concerned about your social justice crusade and lies. It's just that simple. In northeast, northeastern uh, Georgia. Jackson County Sheriff Janice Madnum, the second elected female sheriff in state history, told Fox News Digital she found the comments disgusting and indicative that Abrams didn't care about law enforcement. It's because she doesn't. She is pro defunding the police. Quote, I don't care as a sheriff what, what color your skin is. We take an oath to serve and protect the people and enforce the laws of the state of Georgia, she said. And that's what we do every day. It was an insult to the Georgia sheriffs that are supporting him and all law enforcement. 
I've been in this business 36 years and I have never done anything to tarnish my badge. And my fellow sheriffs are good people that are supporting him. And I was kind of disgusted to hear it. I don't even know what to say. It's just wrong. It's just absolutely wrong. Well said right there. Well said. You people in Georgia that are actually uh, thinking about voting for uh, Stacey Abrams. Has she offered any solution to the economic wounds over there in Georgia? No. I mean, this woman supports Beijing Biden. Who is making everybody's lives a living hell. She supports him. In neighboring uh, Barrow County, Sheriff uh, Jude Smith agreed with uh, Madnum, calling the comment a, quote, slap in the face to Georgia voters who backed the sheriffs in their areas, as well as every officer of every race in his department. Quote, her comments were vile and disgusting, disgusting. And it just goes to show you that her camp, her team are vilifying and demonizing law enforcement, he said. And it's not just a dig on sheriffs. It's a dig on every law enforcement officer in the state, whether they support her or not. At this point, I think she's just uh, grasping at straws. He was particularly troubled by her comment about good old boys saying she was essentially slandering cops as white supremacists, of course. Because that is what Stacey Abrams believes. She hates you. She hates law enforcement. She hates people that support law enforcement. Mandem said the media environment had effectively demoralized the law enforcement profession. Calling herself humbled and honored to be in her 10th year serving as sheriff. She said she never um, seen such negativity in the press since starting her career 36 years ago as a dispatcher. Quote, we're going to run in that danger when people who want to defund the police call needing help. We're going to run to it. We're not going to run away from it, Madam said. Our folks go to work every day, not knowing if they're going uh, to go home in the afternoon. I do feel like sometimes the media gives us such a bad rap. And we come to work every day trying to do our job to the best of our ability. She has personal tragic, tragic experience with that possibility. Kemp was the first person to call her when one of her uh, Jackson County deputies, Lena Marshall, was killed in the line of duty a year ago. Wow. But Stacey Abrams thinks that they just want to lock up black people. When a deputy lost their life in the line of duty. Crazy that uh, Stacey Abrams um, keeps pushing this. It really is. It's pretty disgusting right here. Now, let's jump right here. Kemp touted 107 endorsements from sheriffs on Sunday at Sunday night's on debate with Abrams. But his campaign said he had 111 as of Tuesday. So it looks like he picked up more endorsements since the debate. Among them is uh, Sheriff Charles Davis, who is black of Quinton County in southwest Georgia. Now, here's the kicker, folks. I believe um, the black sheriff here, he's a Democrat, a Democrat, and he's endorsing Brian Kemp. Let that sink in. Kemp is trying to win a second term by defeating Abrams, a media star, since a narrow loss to Kemp in 2018. She has a trained fire on him for his stance on gun control, abortion and voting rights. Polls have shown Kemp with a consistent lead in the state which Beijing Biden nearly won in 2020. Abrams was widely credited um, with helping him become the first Democrat since 1992 to win in a presidential election. And folks, it looks like um, all that's going to flip around in less than two years. It looks like uh, Georgia is going to keep its Republican governor by a larger margin. And it looks like uh, Herschel Walker may end up beating Raphael Warnock. So it's, it's just pretty disgusting, man, that uh, Stacey Abrams went out there and started attacking 
uh, the sheriff's department. Pretty much, you know, putting them in the category of uh, white supremacists that want to lock up black people. I mean, the race card, man, you can't play that. You need to stop playing the race card. That's not going to get you an office. It is not going to get it done. Stacey Abrams is vile and disgusting for saying that. The people that put their lives on the line every single day. She went on that debate stage and just threw them under the bus. When I saw that, I was like, man, she's going to lose anyway. But she's definitely not going to lose by a wider margin. She is just way, way, way too radical. And I can't wait to see the blowout that happens in Georgia. That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white network fans. Let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. And we'll catch you next time.